welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be talking about the Kaplan course that I took. Um, it was a Kaplan prep course for the MCAT and God, I feel like I'm just dragging out these MCAT videos like on and on, but I promise this is the last one. Well, actually, when I get my results back on the 26th, I probably will do like a short video about it, but uh, I don't know. It kind of depends on the results. I, I wanted to do an overview and kind of like just an informative video about how the course went and what it was like. But if you are interested in taking a Kaplan prep course, specifically the MCAT one, please stay tuned and let's get started with the video. So I signed up online and you can easily sign up. I did an in-person class and I'll show you all the quirks on the internet in a second. So I got access to the course online once I paid for it and then in the mail I received a bunch of books. So a huge box and... <clears throat> Oh my So you receive seven books? Uh, you receive a bunch of books and they're all kind of like mini textbooks and then there's a workbook. So one book is the Cars book and it's just like, you know, this one was the my favorite one because it was so short. General chemistry book, um, organic chemistry, biology, biochemistry, a psych and soch book, and math and physics book. You were also received something called Quick Sheets, and I never use this. I, and then you get um, High Yield Science Solutions and Extra Practice, which I actually never got to. And then you also received this big workbook, no matter which class, I'm pretty sure. And it's just a fat workbook, and you cut, you go over the whole thing in class. And the front is a bunch of like lectures and fill-ins, and then the back like quarter is a bunch of homework that you get assigned to do after every class. I did the in-person class and it was in-person and online so I met three days a week Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday from 2 to 5 um, in Palo Alto at some random high school. We did all the workbook stuff and then we would get sent home and do and we would be assigned a bunch of homework and then along with the homework you'd have access to all this online stuff that you could do. It was like I'd say 18 people in the class and then our Kaplan instructor, the instructor, he was amazing. You know, he could, we could text him whenever we wanted. It, um, if we were scared or stressed or worried, like we could give him a call or Skype him and he would respond at all hours of the day. And it was really helpful just having like a rock like that. So I guess I'll now just go into all the online stuff that you have access to and walk you through all the cool things that you can do. Okay, so once you've logged on, you have access to this home screen, and at the top you have your study plan, more resources, channel, and the Q bank. Then you first get started and by watching this video, and then you do half an MCAT, and it's your diagnostic to assess where you're at. And then you just have all these other tools that you can use and learn how to use. Um, and then on the side, there's a bunch of check marks or like a play button if you haven't finished everything, and you can go and resume it when you're ready. Okay, so all these things on the side are basically the classes in the order, and this is the first class, and then you have before class content you need to do, and then the class session, if you happen to miss it, you can click this blue button and you watch the lecture online, and then there's after class homework, and then just these little tabs you can do if you need more help. Now just to show you some of the things I've done, this is a reading that you should have completed before class and then there's an at the end of the chapter test type thing and you just do it online to make sure it's complete, that you've completed it. And then um, yeah, before every class there's an intro video that they'd like you to watch and it just covers what you're going to be going over in class and kind of preparing you for what kind of things you're going to see in class. In all the before class content, there's review videos that you can watch before class to make sure that you're up to date with all the information or things that you might need help with. So for example, you might watch this Coulomb's Law video and there's a bunch of yellow tabs at the bottom of the video and you hit them as you go along and there are questions. And you complete the question, you show the answer, and then you can move forward and it, it tells you if you got it wrong as well. Okay, and then for after class stuff, you have to do the homework from the book like I've talked about, and you find the solutions for the book homework online. So you can open them and then it gives you really in-depth explanations for each answer and for each wrong answer as well. So it tells you why they're wrong, which is really helpful. 
You also have access to a bunch of full lengths and these ones are written by Kaplan and once you start doing them you can access your performance summary where it shows your strengths and your weaknesses and you can focus your studies from there. And then you also have access to section tests from each of the full lengths and if you want to do sections at a time you're welcome to do that. And then you also have AMC practice tests which are some are previous exams that they've released and they're they're no longer using and you, I find those really helpful because they're kind of different than the Kaplan full length so you kind of get an idea of both of them and what they can be like. Next we'll go into the more resources tab and this is just basically a summary of all the classes that you have done or have not done yet and so all of the coursework that you will complete throughout the Kaplan course will be located here. Things that you haven't done, things that you have done, things that you need help with. Next is the channel tab and I love this tab just because there's a bunch of videos that either you could tune into and they would have a schedule for when they would be recorded and you could watch them live or you could do recorded ones that have already been recorded and then you can also select which type of videos you're looking for and even which instructor you want to listen to because uh, some instructors you like better than others and then you could watch the videos and they're more focused than random YouTube videos so let's click on this one this one has already been recorded obviously and they're just basically going through a lecture of a topic and there's a little chat box for people who watch it live it's more interactive and you can talk from within and yeah there's just a bunch of videos that you can watch and I loved 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 watching all these videos Okay, and then this is the QBank tab, and it's essentially a place where you can design your own quiz with whatever you want on it. And then there's the timed mode, untimed, and the tutor mode, which I personally like the tutor mode more because you could view the solutions as you went along with the quiz. And then you can just select any kind of topics that you really wanted to focus on. So, general chemistry, organic chemistry, physics, Okay, let's do a little practice one just so I can show you what it looks like. I'm going to choose political science, economics, and history because those are the passages I had the most trouble with. Then you calculate, it'll calculate how many questions it has for you for those topics, and then you can title it whatever you'd like, just so you know which one, which quiz that you're doing if you don't complete it in one sitting, and then how many questions you want. I typically chose 20. Um, and this is what it looks like. It's typically what the MCAT does look like for test day. Um, and then, yeah, an explanation of why it's right, why it's wrong, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, that's pretty much all the online stuff. And if you do end up taking this course, I would get used to the online format way ahead of time just so you can really tailor your learning to what you need and to focus on all your weaknesses and reinforce your strengths. And, yeah, that's about it. Overall, I really enjoyed this course, and I, it was expensive, but it was really worth the money. So if you're worried about money and stuff like that, they do do a payment plan, which is what I did, and um, they only charge you a certain amount per month over three months, and you know you can like slowly pay it off. It's investing in your future, so it kind of like it pays for itself, you know. If I did well. I don't know yet. And I'm definitely sure that I that I did better than what I would have done if I didn't take the class. I really do recommend taking this class. I'm not sponsored by Kaplan by any means, but I just really enjoyed the course. I learned so much that I probably wouldn't have learned on my own. So I guess that's about it for this video. If you have any questions that I didn't cover in this video, feel free to ask them below. Let me know if you guys like this video. I promise that I'm no longer stretching out this MCAT stuff. And I will see you guys next time. Bye! You know what's funny? Like, YouTuber props and having nobody to help film with you is I use this bear to, like, focus on this chair before I start. And I just make sure his head's in focus, and then, you know, like, I jump in the frame, and then I'm in focus. Um, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Did I? Hmm. I can't remember.